I'm Anil Kumar and in this video I'll highlight a very common mistake which we should always avoid when we are working with complex numbers. Uh, let us say we have to find product of uh, square root of uh, let us say minus 7 times square root of minus 7 right so at times you what you may do is you may just multiply these two numbers and say well this could be product of minus 7 times minus 7 within the square root and this is equal to plus 49 and therefore you may get answer which is square root of 49 which is 7 right so that is the solution which you might get uh, now the question here is find the mistake so what is the mistake here So you need to point out the mistake in this particular solution, right? That's, that's a big question. Now here is the right or the correct solution. So let me write down the correct solution on the right side. Uh, the correct solution uh, is kind of like this. We are given square root of uh, minus 7 times square root of minus 7. You know, in complex numbers, I iota is square root of negative 1 right so it could be written as square root of 7 times i times square root of 7 and when you multiply these two you get i squared right and then square root of 49 and as you know i squared is negative and square root of 49 is 7 so you get minus 7 as your result not 7 right I'm saying this is the right solution and that's the wrong solution. Can you tell me why? The reason is that from here when we moved and wrote square root of minus 7 times square root of minus 7 is this. Now that cannot be done. This is not possible. So this rule is only possible when the numbers within the radical the square root are positive. So this is the step which is incorrect. All right. So when you're working with square roots, in that case, you cannot multiply this and write like that. Okay. This is only possible if you're working in the set of real numbers, right? So you can move from this step to that that is product within the square root or the reverse when a and b so let me write down in general so if i have minus square root of a times minus square root of b i cannot write this as square root of minus a times minus b or what we did in set of real numbers right so that step is not possible right so this is not equal to correct you cannot do this in the set of real numbers so whenever you kind of do the operations on the radical these numbers inside should be should be done in the set of complex numbers as shown here right so this radical minus square root a is not valid and therefore this operation which is meant for real numbers cannot be applied here since this part of the radical is not real right so that is what you need to understand so whenever you have such a situation always use iota as equal to square root of minus one right and then solve correct so that is very important to understand. I'm Anil Kumar. I hope this point is very clear. Thank you and all the best.